The two parts of photosynthesis are known as the light reactions and the dark reactions, also known as the Calvin cycle. The light reactions occur along the thylakoid membrane, while the dark reactions of the Calvin cycle occur in the stroma, or the liquid, of the chloroplast. Now the goal of photosynthesis is to take carbon dioxide and put several of these carbon dioxide molecules together to create a sugar molecule. So the carbon in carbon dioxide is used to create the sugar. But in order to do this, there are two things that are going to be needed. First of all, in order to form these bonds between the carbon to create the six carbon sugar molecule, you're going to need energy. In addition, it's also going to need electrons. So the energy and the electron molecule, that's going to be created in the light reactions. Our energy molecule is called ATP. NADPH is going to carry electrons. So ATP and NADPH will be produced in the light reactions and will be used in the dark reactions or the Calvin cycle to use the carbon in carbon dioxide and turn it into sugar. So first we're going to talk about the light reactions and how exactly the light reactions create ATP and NADPH. So let's focus on ATP to begin with. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. This molecule contains one adenine, just like the nitrogen bases we discussed with DNA and RNA. It's the same type of adenine, a sugar, and three phosphate groups. That's where you get adenosine triphosphate. So you have an adenine, three phosphates, and it's connected through a sugar molecule. ATP contains a lot of energy between these phosphate bonds. And it's formed from a molecule called ADP, adenosine diphosphate. So it's basically the same exact thing without the extra phosphate. So ATP is the energy, quickest source of energy in the cell. What happens is ADP, adenosine diphosphate, will have an extra phosphate group added to it to become ATP. And energy gets stored in this bond between the phosphates. ATP will then move to another area, like in the Calvin cycle, and it will break this bond between the phosphates and once more become ADP, releasing that energy to where it's needed. NADPH also gains an electron in a similar way. It's originally NADP+. Plus. The plus implies that it's missing a negative charge, so it's missing an electron. It then will take an electron because negatives, electrons, are attracted to positives. When an ADP plus gains an electron, the hydrogen will be attracted and will come along with it. So when we see NADPH, it actually has an extra electron because instead of a plus sign, we see the H for hydrogen.